Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a general reading for whoever is meant to watch this. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. Let's see what are the messages for you. You have the Five of Swords. Someone is realizing that you now know the truth about this person who is not being 100% honest with you. This person could have told you lies, so they were just not truthful. They realized that they screwed up and they're actually trying to figure out what to say or how to say it in a way so that you do not get upset with them. They know that they've hurt you in the past multiple times by not being completely truthful. This person realizes that you are no longer dealing with their BS. You are actually standing up for yourself and now they know that they cannot use the same games that they played with you or they manipulated you not being honest and now it's like they're kind of in this energy of like well damn i can't say the same thing i used to say to this person because they're not gonna buy it anymore they're not gonna let this slide and now i don't know what to say this person could have sent you multiple messages with all of these swords here and now it's like i feel like they they are feeling like i feel like i have to say the truth like that's what i'm hearing this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, or you are a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is about communication. With the Seven of Wands, it wanted to come out upside down in reverse. So I feel like you don't want to even put any energy into this situation anymore. It's like you don't even want to be defensive or argue it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the wands. It's like you're blocking this door. But now it's like I don't even care if the door's open or closed. Like I just don't care. It's like you're walking away. That's the energy that I'm getting. You're claiming back your energy because the Four of Pentacles is here and I'm being guided to read it this way. You're holding back your energy from someone who wanted to give you love, but it's almost like they were very in and out. This is a false soulmate with the Two of Cups. I'm also getting this person could have already been married or in a relationship and they were using you as a side person. I'm also getting um, this person strung you along and maybe they're not in a commitment or they have a baby mama baby daddy but it's like they're not in a relationship or they don't want a commitment and this person was stringing you along to make you think that maybe there was a chance for a relationship but it's not going to happen with the strength card leo energy you are being strong and you are seeing the truth about a connection here what else spirit what does the collective need to know yeah, I'm getting this person was either only interested in your money or what you could bring to the table. They only wanted you because of, like, you look good, you smell good, they wanted to take your time, waste your energy, waste your time. It's like, this person doesn't want stability, they just want to have some fun, and then, alright, I got my, my fill of feeling good around you, and now I'm gone. This person is an energy vampire. This is a Gemini with the King of Swords, or it could just mean that this person has a blocked heart chakra and they aren't really big on emotions is what I'm getting. With the Page of Swords, I feel like this person, I'm hearing they're strategizing what to say before they approach you. This person hasn't healed their shadow self. Um, I'm also getting this person is two-faced, but it doesn't matter because spirit is showing you the truth about this person how they need to heal they have some unresolved inner child healing i'm hearing daddy issues or mommy issues but this person is very conflicted and you know this about them now and that is why for those of you that this story resonates it's like you don't want anything to do with this person because you already know yeah with the tower that there is nothing good that's going to come of this friendship, this connection, this, I don't know what this is, friends with benefits, whatever this is, there is a breakup and this person is going to be very shocked over the fact that you just don't care anymore and they don't affect you, they don't control you. Yeah, with the six of cups, the way all of these cards flipped, it's like you guys have a past life with this person and this person was only interested in you for like intimacy or sexual pleasures this person didn't want anything serious and maybe you guys at first had like some rose colored glasses on but now you know the truth and now you're just not gonna let anybody get in your way that was weird there's like a weird bug that just came in here out of nowhere it's like where the heck did this bug come from so this is a sign to me from spirit that yeah with the page of wands that's the message angel number 444 as i'm saying that you guys are now aware your intuition is telling you the truth that this person is negative and low vibrational for some of them they could literally have like low vibrational 
energy, sexual attachments because this person is a player and they sleep around. This person could have ghosted you and then they came back or very inconsistent with you. Even if they said they were your friend, they were not a good friend. Yeah, this is a karmic cycle that is or has ended. Um, you don't want this person. This person is now going to feel bad because they know that they screwed up. I'm getting that you just want to be surrounded by the energy of peace. You know that this is, you knew or you know that this person is not good for you. And for some of you, this person has some type of physical health issue because they sleep around. Or I'm also getting that this person is also has negative energy attachments or low vibrational energies. And when you're with them, they make you feel sick. With the Hermit and the Seven of Pentacles, you have gone within and you realize that this person is not the one that you are going to have any type of growth with, mind, body, or spirit. And for this reason, you are going to no longer be around them or you have already said no to this person. And spirit is telling you congratulations. Your ancestors, a woman, is very proud that you are not letting this person affect you. For some of you, this person is heavy into drugs. And the universe is causing this separation for your highest good. For the high priestess, you are trusting your intuition to stay away from this person. Because you are going to have good karma with the justice card. And this person that is full of themselves, very like prideful, ego, macho. Like they are just very much in like full of themselves with the page of cups. This person has a lot of growing up to do. They're very immature for their age. And because of that... The universe is taking them away from you. I feel, I just heard Goddess Aphrodite. For those of you who connect with Goddess Aphrodite, she's bringing you real love. Yeah, look at that. As I see that with the full card, you have a new beginning in love and it is not this person. And the reason that you have a new beginning in love because the universe sees that you're working on yourself with the three white candles here, mind, body, and spirit. You are trying to work on your inner child. You're trying to heal and get rid of all of the confusion. As I say that, that little fly just flew away. So you're no longer having any, like, clouded judgment. All the negative energy is gone. With the little mice that are here, you could have been dealing with a lot of people who just wanted to be around you because they know you have money or they feel like you have the Midas touch and they think that if they're around you that they're going to get a piece of the pie of the good luck charm, which is you, but it doesn't work that way. Spirit is blocking these people that are low vibrational energy vampires that just wanted to take from you or steal from you energetically. They cannot affect you any longer. You're in this very peaceful, high vibrational energy. And you guys have a money blessing that's coming your way. You have a choice to make in a career, but I'm also getting whatever option you have, right or left, with the two of wands. A path is being made clear. And you have a lot of abundance spiritually and material wealth is what I'm hearing. Work with Ruby or Garnet because I feel like that's going to help you find stability with your root chakra. So that way you have direction. And you know which way to go. And as I say that, the Six of Wands is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, finding your passion, moving forward with the Death card. Santa Muerte is shielding you from negative, low vibrational people. And she's going to help you go through a strong transformation for your highest good. I heard that song. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. So someone's going to come towards you because they realize that they love you. Look at that. Expect communication from someone with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. The universe is bringing you someone because you're closing out a chapter. You're letting go of your past finally. I heard Dark Moon Lilith, but I'm also seeing sun happiness. After you walk away or completely close out that chapter, the universe is going to bless you with a lot of happiness because you only want peace, you only want truthful energy, you're going through a third eye crown chakra activation right now, so take care of yourself if you've been feeling like tired, you've been struggling, or you've been getting like some headaches, you can't focus, you need to rest. Um, you're shielding your space, and whoever is being sneaky or was trying to take from you by pretending to want to be in a relationship with you when they were out being a hoe is what I'm getting with the devil card, this person is blocked with the star card because you have cleansed yourself you're cutting cords with this person if you haven't you should if you need help with cord cutting let me know but you are cleansing yourself from this capricorn aquarius energy you then doesn't matter but as soon as you release some you completely transform with the butterflies and your intuition and crown chakra and your spiritual stability energetically as well as material wealth in the 3d you will have money and stability and the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. So this person did try to reach out to you, or they will. 
um, because they want to work with you, but all they want to do is cause stress and take from you. And I feel like you're going to say no. Yeah, with the two of swords, you block this person or you already did or you're going to because they're just energy vampires who stress you out and cause a lot of negative energy. This person is trying to steal your abundance and spirit is guiding you to walk away. 10, 10, I feel like you are. And your last card is the six of cups. Remember who you are. Goddess Bastet Sekhmet Kali is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Aphrodite and Rihanna are going to bring you your true love as well as Freya. The goddesses of love are going to bless you with a true divine counterpart and not a false person. I'm also getting when you come into union with your true divine counterpart, if you're not already with your true person. I feel like this is someone who is single that I'm reading for. When you come into union with your person, this person who hurt you, I feel, is going to be spying on you like the Cheshire Cat. They're like going to be watching you and they're going to see you be happy with someone else. But that's their karma because of the way that they treated you. And you do have a financial blessing here. If someone was trying to steal from you, God, the universe, your spiritual team, they're helping you to make sure that what is yours is yours. 1101 as I say that. So that's the message that I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe and I send you many blessings. Bye guys.